Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You have a few options for reviewing the changes that have been made to a workbook. You can elect to show and track changes in a workbook and even list the changes made in a separate worksheet named History. You can then use the History tab to review the changes that were made and then choose to accept or reject the changes individually. In the History sheet, you'll see the name of the person who made the change, what type of change was made, when it was made, what cells were affected, and what data was added or deleted. If you don't want to see this information in a separate sheet, you can also elect to have it display in the changed worksheet directly. You can use this when several people have made editing changes to a shared workbook or after you've sent out a workbook for review and then want to merge the input and commentary into one copy. To review the changes made in a shared workbook, click the Track Changes button in the Changes group on the Review tab in the ribbon. Then choose the Highlight Changes command in the Buttons drop-down menu to open the Highlight Changes dialog box. In the Highlight Changes dialog box, you can set the display of editing changes. You can check the Track Changes while editing. This also shares your workbook checkbox to enable changes to be tracked as you edit the workbook. That should be enabled by default for shared workbooks. In the Highlight Which Changes section, you decide what types of changes to highlight. By default, some types of changes aren't tracked. However, in this section, you can choose when, for whom, and for what cells to highlight changes. Use the When checkbox and drop down to select for what duration of time to highlight changes. You can only highlight changes from as far back as you have set to track changes when you initially created the shared workbook. So for example, if you set the shared workbook to track change history for 30 days, you won't be able to see or highlight any changes made from before 30 days ago. You can use the Who checkbox and drop down to select for whom to highlight changes. You can even use the Where checkbox and drop down to select a cell range to highlight changes within. You can check the Highlight Changes on Screen checkbox to show the changes made in the cells that were changed. Changed cells display a small triangle in their upper left corner, and when you hold your mouse pointer over them in the worksheet, the information about the change appears in a small pop-up text box. You can also check the List Changes on a New Sheet checkbox to list the changes in a new worksheet named History. You can review the changes in either place. Just click the OK button to highlight changes in the selected locations when you're done. So here's the History tab. And you'll also see Cell Commentary. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.